Cause she has this tea recipe. This tea recipe. Hello, lovely people. Welcome to Akosia's Tasty Recipe. I hope you're all doing well. So for today's recipe, it's going to be very quick and simple, okay? So what I'm going to be doing today is one pot chicken and rice. So please stay tuned and let's get started. So in this bowl, I have chicken drumsticks. So I'll go ahead and marinate with my season, some merrick powder, capsa spice, and then salt. And I'll add some black pepper and some oil. Once everything goes inside, go ahead and then rub all these spices on your chicken. Please feel free to use any part of the chicken, okay? I really, really like drumsticks. That's why... I'm using drumstick for this recipe so once everything is well coated go ahead and then heat up your pan and then add some oil so this is about one third cup of oil and then I'm just going to drop in that marinated chicken and then I'm going to allow this to fry until it's golden brown and also with this recipe you can use any spices of your choice okay yes i'm going to list all the ingredients in the description box with the correct measurement so please kindly check it out so once the other side of the chicken is well fried or golden turn it for the other side to fry okay so now the chicken is ready i'm just going to remove it from the oil and then set it aside the next thing I'm going to do is to transfer the oil that I used to fry the chicken in another pot and then I'm using it for the rice. So I added some onion and then I'll go ahead and add ginger garlic paste, some bay leaves and then I'll add rosemary and then cinnamon stick. This is going to give the rice some very nice and unique flavor. So I'll, I'll allow this to fry for two minutes and then i'll go ahead and add carolina and a habanero pepper cherry tomatoes some green bell pepper red bell pepper and then carrot okay feel free to use any vegetable of your choice i'm just going to saute this for a few minutes and then i'll go ahead and add my spices so i'm just going to use some curry powder some merrick powder and then capsa spice. Recipe. This the recipe. 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 So at this point, the vegetable is well sauteed. So I'll go ahead and add my basmati rice, okay? You can use any rice that you prefer, okay? Yes. Yeah, so once it goes in, I'm just going to also stir this for about three to four minutes, okay? I really want the spices and the vegetables and all the rice to be well incorporated. So once I have to my preference, I will just go ahead and add chicken broth. You can also use chicken stock. I just bought this from the supermarket. You can also use water if you don't have the stock or the broth and you will still have a great result, okay? But it gives this rice very nice flavor. I will still go ahead and add a half cup of water as well because this kind of rice needs, I think, enough water to, you know, help it cook very well and nice so this is about half a cup of water i'm adding and then some salt to taste okay so once everything goes in go ahead and then stir everything together and then bring back that beautiful chicken that we fried yes that's it i'm just going to top up with the chicken and then i'll cover and allow this to cook on medium flame for about 15 minutes So after the 15 minutes, the rice and the chicken has absorbed all the liquid on the food, okay? So I'll cover with a parchment paper and then I'm going to allow this to cook on low flame for extra 
10 minutes please do not make the fire very high because the rice will burn okay so after the extra 10 minutes the rice is ready and it smells so so good from all the flavors from the vegetables the spices and the chicken oh my goodness you don't need stew or any sauce for this recipe okay it comes on its own it tasted very very delicious and then even though i didn't stir but it's cooked well do you know why because the parchment paper i used to cover the food help the steam to cook the rice faster okay so try this method and it's really really helpful i hope you enjoy this recipe thank you so so much for watching this recipe and i hope you're going to give it a try but please don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like this recipe and please subscribe and share kindly click on the notification bell so that whenever i upload you will be notified thank you so so much for watching i really appreciate you all god bless you and stay tuned for more recipes bye